Hello everyone, welcome to JS2. Today we are going to see about what linear agreements index that can be estimated or calculated by using ArcGIS ArcMap. So first of all, let us see the basic concept is associated with the linear agreements index. What does it mean? Firstly, this index is first uh, developed by Relay and his friends in 1999 to express the amount of elevation difference between adjacent cells of ADA. So it expresses in terms of the amount of uh, elevation difference between adjacent cells of ADA. The ADM basically comprises of a composition of cells which, uh, which contains the elevation information. So it calculates the difference in elevation values from a center cell and the eight cells immediately surrounding it so immediately surrounding it then it squares each of the uh, eight elevation difference values to make them all positive sum them and take the square root so uh, the terrain roughness index express the amount of elevation the terrain uh, the amount of elevation so basically this uh, provides data on relative change in the heat of field shapes so uh, ruggedness means uh, there is the highest and the lowest. So how much the uh, landscape or the topography ruggedness is expressed in terms of ranges, in terms of range. So uh, the steps are firstly, uh, we have to know which types of data is required. So the, uh, the, type of, uh, the types of data required for calculating this uh, uh, terrain roughness index is the DEA and the study area or your study area. So, after that, we uh, have to go to the S directory to work map and uh, calculate by using this uh, go to focal statics, then calculate mean maximum and uh, uh, mean maximum and minimum of uh, the value of uh, DEA. So first let us open ArcMap. So this is ArcMap 10.8. So we have to add all the required data. Then add data, add data. Then for my, my study area is watershed. So I have DAM of watershed. Then I will add this DAM data. This is the DM of my watershed. Let me add the study area of the watershed or the boundary of the watershed. So, watershed boundary. Yeah, let me make it hollow. So, this is the boundary of uh, my watershed. And this is the DM of the watershed. So, what is the next, the next step here is the open arc toolbox, then the spatial analysis tools. Then after special analysis tools, go to neighborhood. Then according to our formula, go to focal statics. Double click on focal statics. Then put the raster must to be the DM of the watershed. Then select DM of watershed. So the output raster means the place or the folder or the destination or the path that you want to save your output result. So I will accept uh, the default destination fold so let me increase this to 10 let me increase also to 10 3 to 10 uh, so first let me uh, calculate the mean so click uh, oh, click ok let me uh, rename it uh, to mean you can you can uh, browse your folder you can browse your destination folder and uh, save as like this but let me accept the default destination folder and rename as mean then uh, choose these parameters statistical parameters to mean first let us uh, calculate me okay. okay great so let me uh, go to let me again go to focal statics double click on focal statics and uh, let me the input raster must be the same with the original name 
I will drag over max min and uh, max uh, maximum minimum and min of uh, focal stasis from this DM. So let me the output uh, raster let max. Let me rename as max and accept as a default folder. So let me increase this. Okay. This two ten. This two ten. Ten. We have already calculate mean. So now let me uh, calculate maximum. So click on maximum. Then click OK. Excellent. So this max value is already calculated. So now let me again go to focal. Double click on focal statistics. Then the input raster must be the original DA. So let me calculate again. We have already calculated the maximum value and the minimum the minimum value. Now let me calculate the the minimum value of this raster. So minimum minimum value. So let me uh, change this to ten. So let me change to this ten. Uh, what is the remaining? What is it means? Select from this minimum. Okay. The minimum, the minimum value is already generated. So we have generated or calculated the all the required uh, data minimum, maximum, mean. So let us uh, back to topographic greatness index is equal to minimum minus uh, mean minus minimum uh, divided by maximum minus minimum value of ADM DA. So go to sp let, let us return back to uh, Arc Toolbox and uh, let us minimize this neighborhood function and go to map algebra under special analyst tools. Go to map algebra, double click on raster calculator. So topographic readiness index is equal to open bracket mean minus. Uh, minimum value close bracket divided by open bracket divided by maximum value of ADA minus minimum minimum value close bracket. Then this is this is uh, top graph gradient in this TRI. So the output raster means the place where you want to save or the distribution folder that you want to save your output result but let me accept the default folder by renaming the index as topographic ragdness index and then click ok topographic ragdness index is calculating let's switch the results Excellent. So the topographic ruggedness index is uh, already generated. So let us uh, uh, uncheck all other parameters. Then this one, this one, this one. So this is this is watershed boundary. Let us make our uh, outline color to this to this. Okay. So this is the uh, outline border. Outline border. So let us make some amendments. Uh, right click on topographic index, then go to properties, then go to symbology. Now let us uh, select, let us make some amendments. Okay, this is how topographic ruggedness index is. Uh, experience it in this uh, in this area so let us make also some amendments on some amendments so let me select this one let me select this one apply okay let me select this one apply and we can see how the topography is uh, ruggedness index variability is observable in this study area. So you can see 
how the value is vary between a cells in adjacent statistics within a uh, TM value. So you can simply calculate using this uh, focal statistics. So the result is uh, from 0 0.11 out to 0 0.88. So the ruggedness increases as the highest value to the place where the area is colored in uh, green in colors is the highest uh, TRI index. So in order to be the map fully readable and understandable for end users who have to um, prepare a layout for this map. So go to just at the bottom side of your uh, mark map and click on uh, layout view. Then you can increase the scale to uh, be fully zoom and understandable. So just like this. So let us uh, insert some uh, marginal information of maps or certain map elements. So insert. Legend next, 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 next. Now, this is the KRI. Let me uh, let me make some amendments for uh, properties and let me adjust these values to so this is a value. What is left here is that let me add not zero. You can select your favorite one. This is my favorite, but you can select what you want. This is uh, a bunch of observations. You can increase the size of the nozzle. Let us insert also the uh, scale bar. So let me select this one from other alternatives. And as you can, you must add to this. As, as you can see here, uh, the unit of measurement is miles, so let me change it to kilometers. Right click on this uh, scale bar and click on properties. On properties, then you can, uh, as you can see here, is that division units change into kilometers, and this is the level where how it displays on the top. So let me write as km, km, okay, excellent, km, good. So this is changing into K. What's left here is that is a coordinate system or the grids or the grids or the grids. Right click on uh, this uh, data frame, then go to properties, new grid, then next, uh, next, 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 apply, apply, that. Uh, there are uh, uh, lines displayed on the map, but I don't want to the lines to display on this, so let, me, let us remove the, the lines from this grid, so uh, go to properties again, and uh, go to properties, go to lines, show as a grid of lines, no show as a grid of ticks, no, do not show as a grid of lines, so apply, okay, so lines is already removed, so uh, as the other thing is here is that, uh, as you can see here is that there is a dense uh, of uh, coordinate systems so I want to uh, increase the number of intervals and I want to uh, arrange the orientation of the uh, coordinates into vertical orientation then, then go to again properties again pro properties then intervals let us uh, decrease 0 to 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes 10 minutes as you can see at 0 degree 10 minutes in 30 seconds let us see let us excellent so let us uh, make vertical or, uh, observation of, uh, of the uh, orientations left and right must be oriented into vertical and let us select the font to times new roman times new roman and let us make to 12 and bold okay apply Okay, very excellent. So wh what is left here is that uh, insert, uh, insert, neat line. So let us make this one to uh, this one and let us change the colors to uh, this one. Okay, apply. Okay. Good. 
Excellent. So in the end, the border is where you put around your uh, data smith amendment. So this. Okay. This one. Okay. 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 You can insert just like this. So now we have already completed the topographic ragedness index map of history area. After this, you can export your map in various formats. For example, let me export as a PNG or JPG. Go to files, go to your archive map in the files, then go to export map. You can select your destination folder. Uh, for example, let me select this desktop and configure uh, the index TRI as JPG. Save. Processing. The exporting is running, so let us with the results. So let us minimize this one and open our exportable results. Double click on this. So this is topographic ravitness index as you can see. Very good. So we have, we have calculated uh, the topographic ravitness index. Uh, how the topography varies uh, with vertical distance in a grid of cells or in neighborhood cells. So using ArcMap ArcGIS, you can simply calculate topographic ravitness index of. Uh, which is useful for a hydrological quantification and processes, how this topographic raggedness affects soil erosion. Therefore, this is what we have today. But if you are new to this YouTube channel, you can comment, uh, uh, share, uh, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.